almost as quick as they can be constructed, crawfish traps are being bought and hauled off by local crawfish farmers. Riceland Crawfish, here in Eunice, is a crawfish wholesale operation who, this time of the year, specializes in crawfish traps. And according to the owner, Dexter Guillory, if this season shapes up to be as expected, it should be a pretty good year. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a promising year. They're dipping well in the ponds, and, and it looks a lot better than it's been the uh, last couple of years. Between now and the spring, we ought to have a lot of crawfish on the market. Right now, Guillory's freezer is almost bare, except for a few sacks. But in the next couple of weeks or month, he expects this room to begin to fill up. And that, in turn, he says, will equate to more crawfish being bought. Last year, is in, the, in the winter, the prices were as much as, as $3 a pound to the retailer. And, uh, and this year, it's probably half that price. And, and uh, so I'm thinking they're going to have a price they satisfied with uh, all year long. Mike Prevo of Branch is one of a handful of crawfish producers already fishing. He says by starting early, he can sort of corner the market for a while anyway. I took a chance this year on the rain that we caught in late August, and I had some planted rice just for the crawfish, and I took a chance on that, and it paid off. We're catching, catching a few crawfish right now, you know? There's a lot of sun in the field this year. That everybody I talk to has crawfish, and it looks real good. I think it's going to be a, a good season. Right now, Prevost's traps are only catching about a half a pound of crawfish. Well, that means Prevost is having to check a lot of traps to fill a 35-pound sack of crawfish. Prevost supplies several local markets here in the area with crawfish, as well as hauls part of his catch to restaurants in Shreveport and Texas. He's hoping the mild weather continues and his catch continues to increase, because like Guillory, he thinks this will be a good year for consumers. The market's going to be down on them enough for the consumers, the public, to afford them, you know, and eat them. And that's, that's what we need, people to eat them so we can sell them, you know. Reporting from Acadia Parish for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Bill Sherman.